Welcome everyone. So what you guys are viewing in front of you right now is my 32 byte hard drive. So yeah, it's a hard drive. So it stores data in binary. Well, not binary, but it can store anything that is either a 1 or a 0 in 32 registers. So these registers are basically different places where you can store a value. So say if I wanted to store um, 2 in register register 6, so that is 6 in binary. And then if I hit this button, which is the seek button, it will go to that register. So here it is, indicating by these up and down blocks. So you have 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, which is 6 in binary. So, as you see, the tape is different, so there's no brick blocks right here, or, or, or a purple block right there. That means we are at register 6. So we can store, say, let's say we'll, we'll store 6 in register 6. So if we hit the write button, it will write that data onto that register, and that data will stay there until there is a different input like this and then we hit the write button and then it will write that so we don't want that so we can place it back on 26 so yeah 6 is stored on register 6 so say if we want to go to uh, register 7 so if we hit this we are now at register 7 and we are reading from register 7 so that means our data is not there anymore but say if we want to go back to register 6 we can unflip that and then hit the seek button as you notice there's a lot of really fast moving things going on that's because this is a really really fast hard drive the RPM for this is 6.25 rotations per minute that's pretty fast for my graph. And as we see on our output, we see 6 is back and, we're here, and we are indeed on register 6. So that's basically how this hard drive works. Um, the clock speed for the uh, advancing of the tape, which is basically how many times it advances, well, what's the delay between each advance, is 3 ticks. So advance three ticks later, advance, three ticks later, and yeah. So let's go, just go to back to register zero. Okay, we're back at register zero. So as you see, you know, zero, perfect, nothing's wrong. But as you guys probably have noticed, the right of me is this weird looking thing so that means well I have to explain it so this is a 32 byte conventional RAM array RAM is random access memory so that means you can access anything randomly from an address and speaking of address this is even lacking the addresser so I can't even address any register in this as a as in this I can't and it is a lot more compact compared to this so you're probably wondering where would I use this hard drive and where would I use this RAM so RAM you'd want to use in a place where you need memory accessed and you need that memory accessed fast so you want that memory coming out fast 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 so this is a lot faster in read time than this is. The worst case scenario for this hard drive is 9.6 seconds, when over here the worst access time is 3-ish to 4-ish ticks. Well, let's just say 6 ticks. And 9.6 seconds is 96 ticks. So as you can basically see right from there is that the RAM takes a lot less time than the HDD. But as you can see in size comparison, I can basically fit 
twice the amount of memory, or even more, in the same amount of space that the RAM takes up. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, where would you use this hard drive? Hmm. Well, you'd use it in any implement. You'd use it where you would need a lot of memory in a small amount of space. Or, quote, dense memory, unquote. Dense memory is uh, bits per block. So, a ratio between how many blocks it occupies between what it stores. So, say this, for example, this hard drive is has a ratio of 17 blocks per bit. So that means every 17 blocks, cubic blocks, of this, of this hard drive is one bit. So, yeah, that's pretty dense as in comparison to this, which is a lot bigger. So, yeah, I'll be leaving a schematic download and a world download. Yet another thing to note is that if you guys are ever playing on a bucket server and you would like to use this particular hard drive, please, please, please add one repeater right here. This will make it slower, but in terms of 1.3.2 bucket, and I'm not sure of anything over that because that's in the future and I don't know of the future, it will potentially and will break. So, yeah. What will happen is that this tape, most of the blocks will just go everywhere, things will get stuck, and things will be bad. That is because Bucket messes with uh, ticks. So sometimes the ticks, it might skip over it, it might make a tick longer too. I'm not sure. But that's just a warning, if you guys are using this on a Bucket server, please add a repeater right here. So yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.